Hello everyone, this is Dory from Maywood Public Library. I hope that everyone is staying safe and healthy during this time. So today we are going to make a decorative piece and this could be something that you could just hang on your wall. I can use it for display at like a bridal shower, wedding shower, graduation, birthday, you know the drill. Um, so what you will need is a hula hoop. So I have one right here that I was actually able to get at Five Below for only $2, so that was exciting. I have heard of people finding them at the dollar store. I wasn't able to find them at my local dollar store. Then I have nautical rope, and I did buy about seven of these. I'll let you know after I do it how many of them I actually need. Then you're going to need a glue gun with glue sticks. And if you haven't used a glue gun before, please have someone assist you who has used one because I don't want you to hurt yourself in any way. And then I'm going to show you two optional additions that you could add. One would be flowers, and then the other one would be close, a clothespin line for further decoration. So I'm going to go, go ahead and get started. Okay, so you will take the hula hoop and you will put a little bit of glue from the glue gun on it. Again, if you haven't used a glue gun, please be safe. Maybe ask someone who has used one for help. And you will start wrapping the rope around. And you want to make sure that you have it tight and that you press it really hard so that it stays in place. And once you have what you had glued on, you could go ahead and continue. And you're going to do this to the entire hula hoop. How much rope you need is also determined by the size of your hula hoop itself. So I ended up using eight here, but you might use even less. Okay, and then I had a little area where I didn't see a point in really putting more rope on because it was small and I knew I wanted to put flowers on. So I went ahead and I glued the fake flowers that I selected on. I also took some greenery from those fake flowers to also put on. And that is it. And then if you want to add something extra, you could put a clothespin line that you could always put pictures on if you wanted to display photos for either your home or an event. Okay, so I hope that was easy for you to follow and I did end up using eight ropes. I could have used nine to fill that little space, but as I explained, I figured I would just put some flowers in it since it was gonna be covered anyways with flowers. If you have any questions or comments about this, please feel free to reply to this video or you can email us at mpld at Thank you.